Most likely, you're going to need a manager long before you actually ever get one. Realistically, you need that manager when the weight of doing all the business starts to detract from your ability to make the music. The easy answer to when you should get a manager is as soon as you can. But the truth is, only if you can find someone that fits the bill that we described earlier and can actually help you in a meaningful way. And obviously, that's easier said than done for all the reasons we've talked about previously. So, while you're looking for that great manager or waiting for them to find you, you'll likely feel this unbelievable pressure to settle for any manager you can get. That weight of responsibility and the workload can be daunting. It can make you feel weak and powerless. You'll feel like you just can't do it for another day and you become desperate. So what often happens, I find, is that someone will volunteer to be your manager and you just can't wait to say yes. You're so happy to have this load off your back. Maybe it's one of your buddies from high school or college who's offered to help. Maybe it's somebody you met at a gig, a fan. Um, they sound enthusiastic and you just want to say yes right there on the spot. You forget how important this decision is and why you should never make it in a moment of weakness. In your hurry to say yes, you forget to ask yourself, does this person have what I need for my career in the long term in terms of their experience and their qualifications? You barely met this person, so you have no idea of what kind of person they are, whether they're honest, whether they act with integrity, whether they can make things happen or just talk a big game. So what do you do? Don't settle. That's my advice. Don't settle. It's too risky in the long term. It's a potential career killer. The stories of bad management deals are legendary. Don't you be one of them. Don't let your impatience get the best of you. When you meet someone that's interested in the job, go through the process. Tell them what kind of manager you're looking for, what qualifications you need, what characteristics you're looking for. Be careful of hiring just anybody. Now, while it makes sense to wait for the perfect manager to come along, in reality, it's quite possible that you might be approached by someone less experienced, less than your perfect manager, that could fill that role in the short term. That potential manager might have many of the personality traits of a good manager, but might be lacking some key qualifications like experience and contacts in the industry. What they lack in experience, they make up for in enthusiasm. They do their homework. They ask questions to get answers. They become a networking animal to meet the folks who can help you. They willfully take on the dirty work and do it with great pride. So what should you do in that case? Here's my advice. Have the conversation with that person. But remember what we talked about earlier. In reality, you're both kind of auditioning for the gig. So make it clear from your point of view what you're looking for long term with regards to experience and contacts in the business and how important that is. Let them know that while they seem to have many of the qualities and characteristics you're looking for, they are lacking in those key areas of experience and contacts. Have an honest conversation about that lack of experience in context. Don't run away from it. It's important. Make it clear to them that they will have to stay up with or ahead of the game to win the gig in the long term. Make it clear that if you're approached by a more experienced manager or that you're offered a record deal where the money wants another manager, that they'll have to compete for that job. If you have to sign a contract, keep it short. Build in targets to extend. Figure out how you'll compensate that person for the work they do, but keep it loose. That's the most important thing. A sharp young manager in this situation with a happening band might be smart to try and join a multi-manager firm where they can plug into an existing infrastructure of experiencing contests that can help not only the artist, but that young manager himself. I can't stress this enough, folks. Picking the right manager is crucial. As difficult as it is to play manager and musician, you've got to resist the temptation to settle for something less than a winning situation. If you do sign with a manager who fits the bill in many ways but lacks experience, keep it loose. Make sure that when you find your great manager, you can make it happen.